Hey man. Hey man. Can I ask you a question? You just did. Can I ask you a question again? No. Do you have Tony Ren? Is that an iPhone, man? Yeah. Yo! Yo, man! It's cracking, cracker. What's happening, man? Late and racist, that's nice. It's not racist, man, it's love, you know. I can't exactly call you a nigger. Why not? Because you're a cracker. Cracker? I want to be offended, but I can't. It's just too damn American, bro. It's the stripper theory, guy. The what? The stripper theory, you know. It's not quite so nasty if she's from overseas. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Mitch, hey! How you doing, man? You good? Nah, bro, that's not Mitch. This guy. Who's this guy? This is the bum with an iPhone. And then we get the venue. So basically, that's how we've always done it, yes. It usually takes a couple of weeks to get things rolling, but once momentum hits, then boom, lift off, baby. It's all about focus. You guys want Jägermeister? Anyway, so we do our own advertising, our own marketing, um, our organization. Oh shit! Penalty! So, what you say? So, what's your band's name then? We're comedians. Oh, right. We're comedians. I like the sound that. It's got a nice ring to it. Have you got a demo CD or anything? I tell you, the last band we had in here were proper shit. Proper shit. Greg? Greg, love, what's their name again? Greg? I can't get the staff nowadays. So how long's your band been going? We're not in a band. So what the fuck are we talking about? Comedy. Stand-up comedy. Why are we talking about comedy? I spoke to you last night on the phone, don't you remember? Oh, last night? Now listen, love, last night was tequila promotion. <laughs> Well, basically, we want to start a weekly comedy gig here, um, every Sunday. Uh, oh, come on, you lazy bastards! Well, what do you think? No, love, it's no good. We're not going to win with this mob. <laughs> no, 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 no. What, what do you think about starting a weekly comedy gig here, every Sunday? But, you know, just give us a sec, love. I've got a headache. What was the question again? Comedy. Stand-up comedy. When can we start a comedy gig here? Are oh, you keen sorry. to go? Now listen, listen. Listen to me, all right? Here's an idea. Now don't shoot me down. How about the two of you do a comedy show here every Sunday? I've got everything. I've got stage, sound, everything. You know what I mean? It's up to you chaps, right? Just think about it. Well, I've got to go now. I've got to meet some muso called Eddie. No. He's probably a wanker. I'm Eddie. Oh, right. So you're a comedian and a musician. Well, make your mind up, love. So what's the name of your band again? Seed pipe was only on the schedule for tomorrow. Fuck! Well, that sucked. So boring. Did you see? He was all like, yeah. it was all like your fault, bro. It wasn't my fault. Why were you making up lines? I forgot a bit. Nobody noticed. No. Of course they noticed. Come, we're doing it again. From the top. Doing what again? My booty is as boundless as the sea. I've already learned that. No, okay. It's bounty, not booty. Yeah, it's boring, and I'm done for the day, and I'm glad. Boring? Yes. These are some of the greatest lines ever written in the English language. This is a post-macho exploration of pan-genderalist sexuality within the Shakespearean episteme. What could be better than this? Do you want me to list it alphabetically? Hmm? We don't know the alphabet. A is for anal director, B is for boring, and C is for Cammy. Please, just go get a drink, dude. Most actors love the theater. Well, I love my girlfriend. You know, loving both is an option. Hey, where you going? I gotta go see Eddie. It's about a gig. Come, I don't care. No, no, you have to rehearse, sir. Rehearse? You know that rehearse is a taxi for dead people, right? Why, Flicker? Come back here! Chris? Beer. W where's the beer? No beer. Thanks. What do you mean you don't have any beer? No beer. What does he mean he doesn't have any beer? He likes the coffee. I'm sobering up here. Hey, Tarantino, what's up with the handicap? Handicap? <laughs> this is HD, motherfucker. 
What's up, fellas? Hey, 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 what's, hey, up? hey what's up? Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Thanks for coming. Cool, cool. Why would you order? Well, I don't feel like having that look on my face. You should try the coffee, it's delicious. Mm, you try the coffee. Anyway, so I got some good news. Oh, you're pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet. But I did organize us a gig. Yes. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Where? At the armchair every Sunday. Nice. Do they have beer? Can we go there now? Of course they got beer, man. It's that bar down the road owned by that palmy cracker. Dude, racist much? Not racist, guy. He's from another country. It's okay, whatever. What are you talking about? It's a stripper theory. So, I need a bit of help with marketing, uh, putting up posters, flyers. Uh... Flyers? Fuck flyers, man. I've got it sorted. New media, baby. We're gonna hit maximum reach using like cutting edge social networks like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube virals. None of that dark ages are word of mouth shit, you know? I'll handle this. I got this, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Boy. One more time, from the top. I take the at thy word, call me butt love and I'll be new baptized. No, you gotta emphasize love, not butt. It's iambic pentam... Iambic pentameter. Call me butt love and I'll be new baptized. Not call me butt love. <laughs> butt love. Again. <sighs> Dude, what does that even mean? Do you even care? Nobody does, just tell me anyway. It means that Romeo is so into this chick he's met for like two seconds that if she says she'll fuck him, he'll change his name or his religion or anything she wants because he loves her. But love is right. Gay! Gentlemen. There's a place for this cuck. And it's not here. Chill out, boss. We are rehearsing for a play. Well, why don't you your lady friend go find a coffee shop or something to rehearse in. I don't want anybody to get hurt, okay? Okay? Okay, good. Sir! I'll have you know the only person who's gonna get hurt here this afternoon is you. Because my lady friend over here, he could have you any day of the week, sir. He could take you underwater, on fire, with both my hands tied behind his back. And you, you'd need an entire army just to write the apology. Oh, and remember, my lovelies, tonight, 8 p.m., comedy starts at the armchair. And if you want those Justin Bieber tickets, just tweet at me why you love the Bieber. What do you want? Those Justin Bieber tickets? It'd be great if we could have them. Huh? No! No. No, we can't have them? No, the last time I let you lose is when you sold them before I could announce the winners. Uh, yeah, that was a bit suspicious. <laughs> it was a bit suspicious. <laughs> so, what do you, do you think maybe we could uh, speak a bit more about the armchair gig on Sunday on air? Oh, I'm sorry, Eddie. This isn't an infomercial. This is my job. Mm. Mm. So no, I mean, what's, what's in it for me? You can play on Sunday at the gig, mm -hmm. if you want. Do a couple minutes, five. That'd, mm -hmm. that'd be awesome. I could try new material. Uh, we could hang out more yeah. in opposite world. Okay, what do you want? Well, I'm running a charity gig in two weeks. Awesome. Mm -hmm. What, we do five each? And I'm really looking for ushers. Ushers. And you would look awesome in a beautiful black suit. And I just... No, Eddie, that you would be excellent at pointing. Okay, yeah, just no animal charities, okay? Well, why not the animal ones, though? I'm just so sick and tired of these eco-warrior blogger wankers who care more about horses than children, you know? The type that would step over a starving child to save a rhino, yeah? Shoot the rhino in the face and feed it to the starving child. So, yeah. <gasps> We are just having so much fun in studio. That's uh, just what not to do on air. That was a little lesson. So uh, we're going to listen to uh, some Shakira now, Shakiki. And remember, those hips don't lie. Get out. Hey. <laughs> 
I'm not too sure about this lot, to be honest, love. I think there's some kind of a cappella outfit. Well, they're pretty light on instruments. And then the disabled dog jumps. No, dude, that's not funny. I told you I need a joke that can work. Bruh, you asked for a joke. He has a joke, mama. Dude, are you even listening to yourself? A scenario where a disabled dog downs is never a good thing. I didn't say it's a good thing, I said it's a funny thing, bro. Dude, then dude. why did you use this? Right, trust me, this joke doesn't work for me, bro. This is a joke for you. It's perfect, bro. It's perfect. You or Eddie is a good problem. So what are you trying to say? I'm like, Eddie is out now. Exactly, exactly. Dude, Go out there, you see you give it horns. All right, my lovelies, all right? Uh, so when are you starting then? <sighs> About 20 minutes. So where's your gear? What? Listen, I don't like this backtrack stuff, right? Well, get a guitar at least, mate. Mitch, please, bro. Yeah? We stand up comedians, okay? Huh? We tell jokes and talk shit on stage. That's it. Under no circumstances, ever, not once, not even a little bit of a time, do we ever play music, okay? Seriously, bro. All right, all right. Okay. You only have to say so. Yeah, okay, cool. This is our chance to go out there and prove to them that we are not just a bunch of jesters. Mm. We are so much more than that. We are people too. Funny people. Yes. Mm. People with hearts and souls and minds and ears and teeth. People that just need a chance. Yeah. Need a shot. And we could be great. Good. And I want you to go out there and I want you to take out your proverbial dick and slap them with it till they are wet from head to toe with our semen. Our semen of laughter. Yes. I need each and every one of you to make them warm and moist and sticky with your laughter. We can do this. Now go out there and give it horns. Yes. yes. Oh, Amche! Okay. Could call it my place, but don't call it the armchair. You know, it's comfortable. Yeah. Yeah, it's comfortable like an armchair, really. All right, Chase? Chase? Oi! Oi, babe. Are you deaf or something? Probably be a little less deaf if you call me Eddie. All right, yeah, fine, Eddie. whatever. Uh, these are some reporters they like to have a word. Nice to meet you. Eddie. Yeah. Excuse me, love. I'm going for a walk. Shall we come? Hi. Hey. Hi, I'm Eddie. Felix. Nice to meet you, Felix. So, what paper are you from? The Eco Warrior Tribune. That's a blog. <laughs> the Eco Warrior Tribune. <laughs> oh, because yeah, you, you heard the radio thing, the interview on the radio. <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, well, probably. That was a huge misunderstanding, let me tell you. Hey, I mean, if you were there, it's a completely different story, I promise you that. So, are you, are you a comedy fan? No. If you must know, it's my five year anniversary today. My partner should be here any minute now. Oh, cool. You're in business as well. Life I partner. Do. <laughs> the life, life. <laughs> no, that's that's great. No, I mean, yeah. There's nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with, with life partnering. Why would there be something wrong? No, no. That's with, what I'm saying. No, that's what I'm saying. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. <laughs> Some of my best friends are life partners. You know. So yours, your one. Does does he? Does he like animals also? I love animals, man. Animals are like the best thing ever, you know? All kinds of animals, little ones or the big ones or the in-between ones are also quite amusing sometimes. Uh, you know, I heard an interesting fact the other day, and animals are actually cleaner than children, so rather get a dog than a child, you know? Or you can get a child if you want, because, you know, these days you guys are allowed to children because of the... I it's need not against the rules anymore. Are you guys ready for some good comedy this evening? Please welcome on stage your first act for the night, Gary the Player! See what I mean? Comedy. You really ain't got an idea what you're doing, do you? 
So the disabled dog is trying to paddle with its little disabled arms out the water, but it can't make it and it's just going deeper and down further and further into you the sick water. Piece of shit. Dude, it's just a joke on scene. Dude, I work for the SPCA. Every day I look into the eyes of dead puppies. Kittens. Rabbits. Dude, I don't you understand Hemspok? Boa constrictors? Well, you're not understanding that it's just a joke, it's wordplay. That's what's not bloody wordplay, it's bloody murder. Hey, whoa! Whoa, big guy! Relax, take a chill pull. What's the problem? This scum seems to think that a joke about a retarded dog. Just disabled. A disabled dog is funny. He doesn't mean it. It's just, it's just wordplay. That's all it is. It's just a little joke. It's just, it's just. Can I get you a dope or something? Uh, a beer, a double brandy and coke? Yeah. Look, all right, I could get emotional, but it's my five year anniversary today. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that's Congratulations, awesome. man. Well done. And that's so weird. There's a guy running around here, yeah. a creepy, weird blogger guy. He's also his five year anniversary. <laughs> He's so weird. He's just like, oh my god, it's my five year anniversary. <laughs> Bloggy, bloggy, bloggy. Oh, no, no, it's my anniversary. No, no, it's mine. No, 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 it's mine. It's mine. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Oh, okay, no, no, okay, I'll stop. Laugh, stop. Stop. It's, for laugh. It's, just... it's vlogging. Oh my goodness, such a funny show. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Such a weird coincidence. Hello, <laughs> man. Oh, what do we have here? Yeah. Well, these guys were saying how, something about. I was just saying how utterly disappointed I am. Dude! What kind of sick little man jokes about a retarded dog drowning, bro? Come on, man, what you no, doing? You're sick. What the hell? Where's your humanity, bro? That disabled dog joke just killed, huh? And twice as funny if you make the dog gay. Have you guys read this shit? They're calling us animal bashing homophobes. The gig's organizer displays little empathy with social justice, mocking disabled dogs, blind people, gender equality, and displaying naked aggression towards the gay culture. I told you guys it was a cock joke. <laughs> I can't believe you actually told that joke, guy. Huh? Eddie said it would kill him. Yeah, it nearly did. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm screwed. Dude, you think you screwed? I got the SPCA up my ass. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Just go to the kennels and buy a retarded dog or something. You think that'll work? You guys think it'll work? Hey, ladies. How's it going? Hi. Yeah, we're cool. Uh, let's go. Yo, ladies, uh, what's the rush, man? You guys want to come to a gig sometime? What's your man's name? 